Yeah. So, hello and welcome back. Uh, so, last example, we have understand about uh, the product item and to increment and decrement. Uh, so, in this video, we'll see a uh, few more products. Okay. So, let's have the real uh, cart. Okay. Which contains a collection of items. Okay. So, what I do is, uh, this is the existing setup. I just keep it as it is because I have to reuse the same design. Uh, so in components, I want to create another component. So right click open in terminal So let's say ng gc uh, something called shopping cart Okay, press enter Okay, so I got the shopping cart component created. So now what I do is Go to app component uh, first I command this Control shift uh, forward slash okay if you comment uh, nothing at display uh, let's connect app shopping cart okay so I get the uh, save it you refresh yeah shopping cart works okay and here I just want to make uh, a regular uh, section where you display the uh, the content let us bring it from product item Let's copy the first section for introduction. So I'll make here. This only thing is this is shopping cart. Okay, you get the shopping cart. Uh, so below this, I need to have a table and all. So before we proceed with the table, uh, let let's have multiple items. Okay, so I just need to use the same kind of product object here. So what is that interface product okay so here I say I need to have a serial number of type string and uh, name string image string um, price uh, number and uh, quantity uh, is a number okay so object type is ready now what I do is uh, so public products of type capital product array is equal to my own array okay now earlier it was object now it's an array array of products so each product should have serial number and the name like that so serial number I say AA101 and the name let's say MI uh, watch and the image let's take it empty as of now uh, price I say um, some 1500 and the quantity goes to be uh, 2 okay let's grab an image uh, this one image address and paste it here so we have one item so let's have multiple items so what I do I'll copy this so let's say 2 uh, let's say some Apple watch some 1800 rupees and quantity 2 and image I'll bring this image okay so let's have this image next uh, one more item so let's copy paste it so let's say 3 and something called Samsung or let's say redmi watch uh, let's say something called 1400 uh, i need to have an image copy the image address and i'll keep it uh, here okay and what else let's take one last one i copy paste it let's say it's extra comma i say it's four and uh, I'll say it is something called Oppo watch and uh, let's grab one image let's have this okay so right click copy image address and then I substitute uh, here okay so we got a products an array of products we have so all these products you have to display in a tabular format so previously how you display tabular format like this so can I copy this entire section copy 
and then I'll go here below the section I'll paste it okay only thing is I remove this table row okay fine now check you got the table okay so first of all here if I write table row and TD okay uh, let's say like this TD and expression so uh, you write uh, uh, a products of zero dot serial number so you get the first item serial number so like that you have to write how many items are there one two three four so four items you have to write zero one two three like that instead uh, thanks to angular you have something called directive okay anyway we'll discuss about the directives in a separate class but uh, it's, it's time to discuss the directives now itself uh, what is directive is let's forget about this table see here I write a UL okay li in this I want to display each product name so when I say uh, expression products of uh, zero dot name what happened the first item name has come but I want to display all the names so generally what you do so of one half two of three right you get like this instead instead you have a shortcut what is that is there is a ng4 generally we write a for loop right so we have a ng4 directive ng4 directive so you just specify here let uh, an item let element of array okay the syntax will be like this star so whatever the element you want to repeat so you just use the syntax ng4 let element of array just like your for loop so I need to repeat my list item for every element of an array so you specify here star ng4 let product of products okay and that product you use here just say product dot name the single product which you loop write it so for this line what happens see you get all items you just write in only one but still you got all the items so the syntax goes to be ng4 let item of array same story I want to use it for my array so for table row I need to be repeated in number of times so star ng4 let product of products okay so if you write ng4 automatically you get the four okay okay four items has come but all are same one 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 because I hard code of zero so don't say just the product which element which you loop dot serial number see now you got and same thing you can quickly do it for all so I just write image tag src will be uh, dynamic attribute binding product dot image and then alt nothing let's say you got multiple products but all are different different heights uh, you will say width some 50 and the height 50 so you get the four different images okay and you want names uh, TD expression the single product dot name and product dot price product dot quantity see you got all the products the names and quantity and then I need a quantity into product dot price so you get the price as well okay looks good now uh, I need to have a plus symbol for quantity just like previous so let's have the plus symbol here I tag with the class fa and fa minus uh, plus uh, square and one more copy paste it this is fa minus uh, square so let's check wow you got a uh, things for everyone okay this because of ng4 okay now uh, when I click on a plus symbol I want to increment the quantity and that too only this quantity not the any other so how to get the quantity of a particular item depend on ID 
So when I click on the plus symbol, you pass the ID. So I'll filter all the items with ID and I increment the quantity of that particular item based on ID. So click on plus symbol. So what I do is I create a function or method increment uh, quantity. Uh, this returns void. Yeah. So you must give a product ID or serial number of type string because it was declared as a serial number string. Okay. So depend on ID, you just loop it and print it. So how we write a logic? So it's an array in that whose ID is match that quantity increment and remaining data as it is. So I'll do like this. This dot products is equal to this dot products. I use a map function in that I have a callback function. So it will give you each product. Okay. So my condition I write if the product dot serial number is is equal to the product id which you have provided is match if it is match return the product with incremented quantity okay if it is match that product quantity increment na? product dot quantity plus one otherwise return the product as it is that's all okay so now you have to call this method on uh, uh, increment button let's say click is equal to increment quantity but how you get the product let's say product dot serial number that's your id so now check see i'm passing earlier it was not passed because we have only one one object now we have multiple so you must have to pass an id so now check uh, refresh so see only that particular item is incrementing okay perfect let's make minus so simple copy this paste it let's say decrement quantity and uh, let's say minus one but one problem is it go for minus values so condition was like this product dot quantity minus one otherwise just one okay condition so now i have to call this when i click on the button so here i'll say click uh, decrement quantity of product dot the serial number that's all okay it affects here you want to check just see so plus of the item minus of the single item so plus minus plus minus plus and minus okay uh, one more thing you can do i want to display a grand total of all these items you can display here so for that what i do uh, this is one row but this is the reputation for all items but i just want another row okay another row uh, in this what my plan is uh, how much one two three four five six six columns okay so td let's say some call span of four and then td let's say the grand total yes exactly below this grand total so you give a call span of four this guy grand total and this side you need a total so let's say td so here total should be there but how you get total each item only you have but how you get total you may create another method for calculation of total. Let's say calculate total. I just say calc grand total. Okay. It returns a number. Yeah. What it does is let total is equal to total of type number uh, is equal to zero. And let's say for let uh, product of this dot products you loop through and then total plus is equal to the each product dot quantity into the product dot price that's all and you just keep on adding up to the total i use a plus symbol plus equal to and return 
the total okay so fine simple JavaScript logic now fine I have to call this function where I want uh, you know how to call a function right calculate grand total that's all now check it'll be like this okay so now when I click on increment so only that row increments and also here it will increments correct yeah perfect here also here also here also uh, and one more thing in angular we have something called um, uh, a pipes so we'll discuss the pipes concepts in the coming videos but this time I want to make this price is there na? so this price is just 1500 I want rupee symbol with dot zero zero number so for that there is something called currency pipe so how do you use this like this for price is just a raw a raw data so for this I write a pipe it's, it's like the symbol space currency so currency pipe okay so this number will be converted like a currency see you got a currency 1500.00 okay uh, it's came but uh, I don't need dollar I want the Indian rupees so you can specify the rupees as well the rupee uh, I mean the, the country code so currency code INR colon a string INR so now check see rupee 1500 looks good right and same story I want to copy give it for the grand total as well okay and also for total so wherever the price you want to display so everywhere so now check this is a rupee symbol and here and here okay looks good okay so fine this is the perfect example okay so we are done with the events binding and the next example let's start with forms binding so in forms how you make uh, data binding and how, what is exactly concept of two-way data binding we'll see okay so that's it thank you so much let's meet in the next video thank you